It's the D Las Vegas's Tiny TV on OC16. I'm your host, Tiny Tadani. Uh, we're coming from Las Vegas. This is the D Hotel and Casino, beautiful location, and it's Valentine's. So we're seeing a lot of well, guys and girls and a whole bunch of people headed across the street at the Downtown Las Vegas Event Center. That's what they call it, the DLV or Downtown Las Vegas Event Center. We've done all our concerts and Super Bowl parties. We've had all kind of neat things there, but today it is love in the air. So we are doing speed dating. What is that? <laughs> it's the D Date A Thon. It's a big radio promotion going on. Let's go see what's happening from Las Vegas on the D Las Vegas's Tiny TV. There's my friends. Uh, Richard and Faye from the D, they're busy getting this big promotion together. A lot of pictures and people wanting to take photos with stars. That's uh, the famous Chris McKenna. We know him from television and uh, we'll let them finish taking their pictures. They don't want to leave him. There's lots of music going on. We've got DJs and hosts and lots of people who want to date tonight. we got them all lined up right here in Las Vegas. Look at this crowd. It's Valentine's. Let's go talk to one of the hosts. As I mentioned, Chris McKenna from State of Affairs. How's it going, Chris? Good, how you doing? Good, good, good. So, uh, man, you're a good looking guy. I wouldn't think you'd need a date. <laughs> Stop flirting with me, it's early. <laughs> I haven't so, had a drink yet. You're actually one of the hosts tonight. I am, yeah. We're hosting the D-Datathon, this world record breaking event, we hope. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. There's a whole lot of people here. Now, the people in Hawaii, you know, we don't get to see all the famous people all the time. They'll come once in a while, but uh, have you been to Hawaii? I've never been to Hawaii, oh. to my everlasting shame. I want to go. Okay. All my friends go, and I love it. I just have not, for some reason, I never made it there yet. I would love to. Now, the girls are going to want to know if you're married. Are you girlfriend? Uh, what? I'm single. I, I, I have no date on Valentine's Day. It's, it's, it's upsetting. There's only 1,500 people here to choose from, too. Are, are you able to... Talk to anyone tonight, or is it just as a host? I mean, off the camera, I can. Yeah, I'm not going to get caught talking to people, but okay. yeah. I'm going to take you off camera so you can go to work. <laughs> Great, sounds good. Hey, yeah. This is DK, one of the DJs and the uh, host and presenter of this event tonight. DK, now is that your real name, or is it just because of our hotel? Well, my name is Dana Kramer, so it's my initials, but we can say it's because of the D. <laughs> you know. Now, how many years have you guys been doing this? This is the second annual D Datathon, so from the looks of it, it's going to be bigger and better than ever. I'm blown away. I'm blown away by the number of amazing, good looking people that are here, but the crowd is awesome. The music's fun. I think a lot of people are going to hopefully find love tonight. Well, we're here early and uh, making sure we get everybody settled. They're going for a world record, right? Yes, we're trying to break the world speed dating record tonight. And um, with the number of people that are lined up at the bar right now, I can tell everyone's going to have fun tonight, no matter what. Now, in Hawaii, we have a lot of dating, but it's, you know, local style is a little different. We're a little shy. We don't like to walk up to strangers. Uh, you know, is there any chance you think we could have you fly to Hawaii and we do that there? Uh, sure. You want to send me to Hawaii? I will be there. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just got back from Hawaii. It's oh, you actually there. came, okay. Yes, I went in December, spent some time in Maui, so I'm in love. I'll be in Hawaii anytime you guys need me. Very nice. Now, what are we going to see tonight? Because this is my first time here. They're going to just run around for how many minutes and talk to people? Well, we've got 24 dates. So you're going to have a three-minute date with each person, and you're going to go on eight dates in a row until we take a little bathroom break, a drink break. So you have time to refresh yourself, get situated, and you go on eight more dates. So in three minutes, I think everyone will kind of know at that point whether they're interested or not. Um, and you know, if it's a bad date, at least you only have to deal with it for three minutes. But if it's a good date, I think you can find out a lot about someone in that amount of time. Uh, this is going to be a little different because I think we'll have people from all around the world. Absolutely. I think this is one of the only places where you can make something like that happen. I think the D Las, uh, the D -Las Vegas has been very innovative in that because where else are you going to come and speed date with people from 50 other states probably. So I think it's going to be a huge success. We might have a lot of long distance race relationships going on after this. Hey, a little plug for your radio stations, okay? Tell us about it and what does it play? Sure. Um, our radio station is x1075lasvegas.com. It's new alternative, so alternative rock with a modern spin on it. And uh, we're right here in Las Vegas. I'm co-host of the Dave Mahoney and DK Morning Show and you can find us at x1075lasvegas.com.
So I can actually hear it in Hawaii. Absolutely. You can listen live either from your phone on the radio.com app or you can listen online on your computer anywhere anywhere in the world. Well, DK, thank you for letting us have you on the D Las Vegas' Tiny TV and I hope this event goes off great. You got it. Thanks for being here. Aloha. Aloha. Hey, I heard you are actually a resident of Hawaii for a while, huh? Oh yeah, that certainly was for about five years. And your role now here with the radio station? I'm a sales manager here. I'm with DK and um, yeah, I love it here. Now, tell me if you think this would fly in Hawaii. You think it would work? Totally would work. I can see it happening right on Ala Moana Beach. Wow, you got it all planned out already. You want a trip back to Hawaii. Yeah, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> right across from the D Las Vegas Hotel and Casino, we got people getting ready for this event. Hi, I'm uh, Tiny from Tiny TV in Hawaii. You're on the phone. It's supposed to be meeting people in person, right? Yeah, I'm calling my aunt. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Are, are you excited for tonight? Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, where are you guys from? What area? Oh, you're Las Vegas yeah. girls. Okay, now, uh, what are you expecting tonight? Weirdos. <laughs> okay. Did you say weirdos? Weirdos. Okay, so you'll be okay if it's just a fun, crazy night. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You, you don't have to get married tonight. No, I have to. What are you talking about? <laughs> you have to. All right. Everybody's uh, willing to have a good time. We've got all different ages and nationalities, people from all over the place, and... We even got guys. I know we're only seeing ladies here. And uh, here's a couple of ladies. Hi, what's your names? Jennifer. Jennifer and? Tiffany. From Las Vegas, right? Correct. Now, I'm noticing there's a lot more women here than, than guys. Yeah, that's usually the case. Okay, so, but you're looking for a man, right? Uh, preferably, I'm yes. just making sure. There's one right across of you. <laughs> your name, sir? Spencer. Spencer, where are you from? Right here in town. Okay, what are you looking for tonight? Um... Wherever flows. <laughs> now, you got something nice flowing right in front of you. Exactly. <laughs> now, uh, the, the promotion didn't start. They're still warming up here at the radio station. I think okay. they're just playing music, but I think you guys got going already. Hey, hey, you know, always start early. <laughs> Never too early to start. Oh, okay, we got some guys here now. It's, it's coming around. It's got an equal out. We've got uh, people, uh, some a little more excited than others, as you can tell. Here's two guys, and you know, you look like you're from Hawaii. I see the shaka flashing. Yeah, I used to live in Iaia for a little bit. All right, originally from where? Originally from Seattle. Okay, and now you live in Vegas. Yes, I do. Okay. Were you at last year's event? No, I wasn't. This is my. I actually got here uh, a few months ago. So. Oh, okay, now I hope you don't have a girlfriend because if they see this on Tiny TV or YouTube, you're in trouble. Oh, no worries. No worries. I'm good. <laughs> okay. And uh, what what are you like looking for? You got something in mind? No, you know what? It's my first time even going to like some sort of like speed dating event, so I'm just gonna go and see how it goes. No expectations. And uh, your friend here, you're from Vegas. Uh, you see anything you like yet? Yeah, man, I see a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll get out of your guys' way. All right. All right, have fun. It's speed dating on the D Las Vegas is Tiny TV, and then some people already started without the promotion even going. But let's see how it begins, and let's go to the stage. For radio station X1075. X1075, uh, and this handsome gentleman, if you guys haven't had a chance to uh, get a photo or say hello to Chris, make sure after the, your dates you come up here and say hello. This is Chris McKenna from State of Affairs. Chris, uh, tell us a little bit about when your show is on. When can people watch you? Uh, yeah, I play Nick Vera on State of Affairs NBC Monday nights. The season finale is this Monday, 10 p.m., 9 central. Tune in. And a from what I hear, I understand it's a very suspenseful situation for you this Monday night. I, I've yeah. seen on Twitter, I haven't caught completely up on my DVR, but We're I've seen on Twitter, anymore. it says, save Nick, hashtag, hashtag save Nick. So yes. Last Monday was a very harrowing episode. Yeah. All right, so this Monday night, the season finale is when everyone finds out what's happening to your character. Well, I didn't see a dead body, so okay. we will see. All right, so all of you out there, make sure you tune in to State of Affairs on Monday night to see what happens to Nick, a.k.a. Chris McKenna right here. We're going to tell you a little bit about the Datathon and what's going to happen tonight. Obviously, you guys are all situated. We're about to get started. There's going to be 24 dates. So you're going to get to meet 24 different people throughout this evening. Each date is only three minutes long. That could be a really good thing or a really bad thing, depending on your chemistry. But don't worry, no matter if it's good or bad, three minutes is plenty of time either way. And you have a sheet of questions in front of you. 
So take a look at that. If you're not sure what to talk about, it's like a cheat sheet. You don't have to stress over it. And, and you know what? You can also cheat and listen to the person next to you and see what they're asking everyone. <laughs> Uh, but with enough drinks, hopefully you guys all went to the bar. This is just going to be easy and fun. So if uh, everyone's ready, are you guys ready? You guys excited to get Everyone started? Ready. We're going to break a record tonight for speed dating right here in Las Vegas. If we're ready to go, we're going to get this rolling in three, two, two one. one. Oh, that's so dramatic, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Thank you. Yes. Are, you. are you guys like, getting together already? Where's my, where's my ring? I got a ring pump in my pocket. <laughs> These two girls are doing it together, but they, they're not going to take you on the date together. And I think if they're going to do speed dating together, you got you to gotta get the double date. So I, I heard someone say you guys are twins. Yes, we are twins. So if someone dates, they have to date both of you. Oh, are you aware of that, sir? I don't know. <laughs> I think you like that. I don't know, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, we're in a break right now. Everybody's enjoying, and uh, some people are still uh, actually cheating and speed dating there. Uh, we got a woman here from Las Vegas, but you lived in Hawaii for a bit. Yes, I did. All right, and uh, what area? Oahu, okay. right in Honolulu. Right in Honolulu. Uh, what did you think so far of this event today? Oh, I think it's awesome. It's a lot of fun. Uh, everyone's my daughter's age, just out of college or thereabouts. <laughs> but you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm here to break a world record. All right. You're having fun. That's the main thing. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we got more time, so who knows, right? <laughs> you never know. All Aloha. Right. Enjoy yourself. Mahalo. Wow, what a crazy night here. Speed dating. Love is in the air. I'm not really here to speed date. I'm doing my segment on Tiny TV. The D Las Vegas is Tiny TV. Although, uh, there's these two beautiful women here. Uh, hi, excuse me, ladies. Uh, my name is Tiny. I have a TV show in Hawaii. Hi, hey, your name? Angie. Angie and Anel. Hi. I, I own all the islands in Hawaii, and no I own way. I own all the hotels, and I, I'm going to do a movie called Speed Dating in Hawaii. Would you like oh, to be in it? Of course. Do we get to go to Hawaii? Yeah. Yes, that's that's awesome. I'm liking the speed dating thing. All right, thanks for watching the D Las Vegas is Tiny TV. I'm busy. So anyway. I also own uh, other hotels in Vegas. I'm thinking of buying the D from uh, Derek and also oh. the Wynn and all those other hotels. 